Well guys, today is launch day for McFoon's Aurora HDR 2018 on Windows and on Mac. Yes, Windows users can finally join in on all the HDR fun. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. McFoon has actually sold a staggering 1.7 million copies of Aurora on Mac, and in 2015, they announced that they were going to pivot as a company and produce a Windows PC version. And true to their word, they are releasing it today. So you might be watching this video because you're interested in HDR photography and you want to know what is Aurora HDR 2018. Well, it's the latest cutting edge software to create realistic, stunning photos. It's created by a company called MacFun, who are a California based company. They're known for making the complex simple. With Aurora HDR 2018, you can input a bracket of photos, which is the best way to create a HDR photo, or you can just input a single raw photo. And using all the features inside the software, you can create some really unique and individual photos each time. The amount of presets feels endless, whilst offering you a bunch of free preset packs from the pros and this just will give you your photos that professional look at the touch of a button. Basically, these are the types of people who don't own Aurora HDR 2018. In 1930, the Republican-controlled House of Representatives, in an effort to alleviate the effects of the... anyone? Anyone? The Great Depression, passed the... anyone? Anyone? And this is a person who owns Aurora HDR 2018. So in the rest of this video, I want to share my experiences with the software over the last two weeks. And I'm actually going to show why all you guys out there are going to want to get a copy for yourself. If you actually use the link in the description below, that will actually help my channel out and I would greatly appreciate it. If you want to pick up a 15% discount, just use the code LUKEZINE and you can use that on any McFoon products. So let's take a dive into this software and see what's so great about it. So I've got this list of all the features in Aurora HDR 2018 and I want to point out to you guys the best of the best. Multiple licenses for five computers. This is really important for people who work on Mac and PC because they can just buy the one license and then install it across various computers. And what I noticed is the tone mapping and image processing engine got a real bump in this edition. Your images look a lot more natural as soon as you open them in the program. The brand new lens correction and transform tools allow you to distort your images within the program and not having to leave to another one. The adjustments to the image radiance and glow tools was a pleasant surprise actually. Uh, they used to be a little bit dark, but now they've added in options to really bump up shadows and you can create a really dreamy and happy glow. Luminosity masking has been added and this is a really powerful feature which allows you to do many, many different things within the layers. Preset packs are a nice little feature within this software, but also some professional photographers have made packs for you, uh, including Trey Ratcliffe. And he actually has a second pack for sale on his site, and I'll link that below. Uh, those are really cool, they're actually my favorites. The powerful feature of dodge and burn has been added so that you can draw attention and focus to specific areas of your photo, which is awesome. There is HDR denoise, which allows you to remove all the noise from your photos. 
And this one is one of my favorite sliders, the HDR Enhanced Slider. Um, it's an evolution of a previous slider in an older version, but now the results are a lot more realistic. These are just a few of the many features in Aurora. And I think having the power of these tools at your fingertips kind of makes you feel like this. So, using Aurora is as simple as launching your photos into the app. You then explore more than 70 presets, find one you like and click on it and then you're done. And you'll be one step closer to having your artwork displayed in famous galleries all around the world. You can start from scratch going through the many tools and adjusting each one to your specific needs. So this is where you've got all the finer details and the OCD people out there can really get into it and dive in and have a play. You can use the power of layers and stack as many tools and effects on top of each other as you'd like. And you can use brushes, radial masks and gradient masks all to affect the photo exactly how you want. For those that want even more advanced features, there's luminosity marks and blend modes. You can even move the image from one McFlynn photo app to the other, and it's a very streamlined process. I've found that I didn't get any lag at all while using my MacBook Pro and on my Windows computer as well. I had multiple apps open, um, I was using dual monitors and it never got any lags. I'm pretty sure with the release of this that MacFoon's going to scoop up the number one HDR spot for Windows as well as they already own the Mac spot. If you want to give this a try, just go down to the link below. If you want a discount, use the name LukeZeem and you'll get 15% off. Also, check out Trey's presets. You get a free pack in the software, but if you want to get another pack, you can also get a discount on those. If you have any questions, just ask. I'm happy to answer them. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. I had fun making this and I hope you enjoyed watching it.